If you're scouring the internet right now looking for reasons not to buy the new GoPro Hero 7, this is definitely the wrong video for you. See, I'm not a tech reviewer, but I do do a lot of travel shoots um, and action videos. And I have owned every GoPro ever since the very first one. And recently had a lot of sixes and was really happy with a six. Sorry, it's really loud here. Uh, so when I heard about the seven coming out, I was extremely excited, but I also knew that I was like, ah, all right, whatever, it's gonna be a couple new features. It's not gonna be like a complete overhaul of the camera, like what happened from the four to the five. Um, and then I got it. New GoPro Hero 7 Black. So let's get the number one thing out of the way that everyone's talking about, and that is the hyper smooth. Um, in the Hero 6, there was a really kind of primitive version of this type of technology where I think the whole frame is cut by about 10% on the sides, given, uh, giving the software a little bit more chance to kind of stabilize the footage. And the 6, it was already not bad. And then the 7 came out, and I did this video and posted it online, and everyone thought that I was on a bike and I was literally just using a stick. Check it out. Testing it now on a sprint because that's really shaky usually. Let's see what happens. Ready to go? Yes, sir. I hold it. I hold you hold it? Yeah. Ready? Three. One, three, go. Yes, my friends, unfortunately, you cannot unsee that. Um, it might seem, um, I guess, a little unfair to compare it that way, but so I decided to do another test uh, where I go side by side with the six and the seven, this time just holding it and running uh, from different angles. So check that out. So now I'm gonna do a side by side comparison for an even shakier move uh, using simply my hands. So I'm just gonna be hand holding both the seven and the six. As you can see, the quality is incredibly different. Um, the 7 is clearly much smoother. It looks like I'm using a gimbal. I used to use a 6 on a gimbal or get really excited about my 6 footage and all of a sudden I get it back and it was really shaky. So I started using a gimbal. The gimbals would break from time to time, which wasn't really great. Um, but this 7 fixes all of that. Imagine putting that on a bike or putting it on a skateboard or putting it on a surfboard. You're gonna have clear footage and it's gonna look like a drone or a gimbal is following you, which is insane, absolutely insane. The other big improvement was the mic. So I tested the mic. The six I have, I believe has two mics. It's here somewhere. One, two, it has two microphones, one here and then one here. Whereas the seven has one, two, three, and four. Yeah, I believe it's four microphones, um, which obviously makes a huge difference. Um, so I did a little test to see if you could hear me better on the street using both cameras. This is an audio comparison with the GoPro 6. The seven's here. I have no idea what the difference is gonna be, but we'll check on post. Now we're gonna go ahead and try the time warp feature. Kind of like a time lapse, but 
keeps it nice and stable. For everyone who's ever done a time lapse, you know that doing a walking time lapse or moving time lapse, you really do need a gimbal. So talking about the other features, uh, there is the time warp, which is what they're calling the new time lapse. Um, and it's basically using that same hyper smooth functionality of the Hero 7 and applying that to time lapse. So if you've ever done a time lapse with the Hero 6, you saw that without a gimbal, it was, it was really hard to get any sort of hyperlapse especially while moving, because uh, things would shake without a gimbal. Um, with the 7 now, you can do hyperlapses just using your hand, obviously still being careful, but I did a side-by-side -side comparison of both of them just to show you exactly how different they are. So other mentions that might not be groundbreaking but would be great for certain people, especially if you use this as your main camera. If you go like this, the footage is automatically registered as vertical footage, which means that if you were to upload it onto your computer or on your phone, you don't necessarily have to readjust it and put it from horizontal to vertical. So if you shoot it like this, it shoots vertical. Um, other thing that's quite nifty is that you've got uh, the capability of going live straight from here. So if you connect your phone um, to your GoPro, you can actually go live from your GoPro on the side and then connect to Facebook or whatever, whatever live streaming platform that you might choose um, to use. Um, that's pretty cool. So you can actually get some really nice action shots using this and not necessarily just your phone. Finally, the new functionality of how you kind of navigate through it. The other GoPro is slightly clunky, I'm gonna say. Um, sometimes it was very hard to kind of go through and scroll uh, through the menus. This one's a bit more like, a, it feels like a cell phone, like almost like an Android phone. You can kind of just swipe. It's a bit more intuitive, which makes it much easier to use. So final verdict on the Hero 7, if you're someone, either a professional or an amateur, who loves taking action footage or does a lot of travel videos, or even if you're a vlogger that uses this as your main camera, I'm sorry to say it, but you definitely have to upgrade. Um, the Hero 7 will just fit right into your arsenal perfectly. It does compact a lot of computing power in one. Um, the negatives on the 7 is that it doesn't increase in battery size from the 6, but that's also positive, so you don't have to, if you're like me, buy new batteries for the 7. Um, it's the exact same kind of, I think, I think processing power um, and cameras that are inside. If I'm wrong, please put it in the comment, but I, I think in terms of the resolution, uh, the shooting capabilities, the frames per second, all of that, I think all that stays the same. So what for me is really exciting is thinking about what the Hero 8 is going to be um, because they're probably going to change the battery size, they're probably going to change um, maybe eventually being able to go, I don't know, 1000 FPS. Um, there's a lot of exciting things ahead for sure and the 7 is just kind of a taste of what that can be. Um, but for the time being, this is the best action camera out there. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tech um, review. I don't do tech reviews, but if you want to see more of them, let me know. Ooh, I